Now I'm going to go over some very basic terms and concepts that we're going to use in this class. First, I would like to define data as some sort of measurable information. And when we measure information, we are going to store this data in a data set. And a data set is just a way to catalog and organize data that we measure. And we're going to organize a data set using observations, variables, and data values. So let's start with observations. So here the observations are in this red box. And in this data set, we are collecting data uh, about countries. We're collecting, um, we're collecting data about the population, area, fertilizer consumption of countries. So in this case, the, the units that we are making measurements about are the observations in our data set. So we observed China, we observed Iran, and we're taking measurements about China and about Iran. And these are the, the units of observation in our data set. Now across the top, you see in this blue box are the variables that we're measuring. So for each observation that we make, we are going to collect data about several different features of that observation, and these different features we're going to call variables. So we, for each country, we are going to measure the country's population, the country's area, how much fertilizer it consumes, and the inflation rate in that country. And those different elements that we are measuring about each country are the variables. And then finally, in this green box are the data values. And the values are the actual numerical measurements that we are making. So the data value for Madagascar's area is 587. This is all pretty straightforward stuff, but it's good to especially understand the difference between observations and variables, which a lot of people get confused. And now we're going to define population and sample. So population is the total set of objects or units of analysis under investigation. And a sample is a clearly defined subset of the units of the population. So in this image here, we've got the population being defined as everything inside this big orange circle. So this is the population. Now from that population, we can take many different samples out of it. We could collect all of the uh, all of the units of the population that are within this circle and call that sample one. If we went out and collected all the units in this area, that would be sample two. If we collected here, that would be sample three. So for any given population, we can take different samples out of it. And some examples, so the population could be all the puppies in the world, but a sample is a box of puppies that we, that we had a picture of. A population could be all the geography students in the department, and the sample might be just the students that are in this class. Alternatively, we could have the population being all households in the state of Utah, and we might want to sample that population by uh, calling those households, in which case we can form a sample from the first 1,000 households that we were able to reach when we randomly called households across the state. So remember, what we are doing with statistics is we are taking samples from populations. We're going to describe the samples using descriptive statistics. And then we're going to make guesses about the population based on the sample that we've just collected. And when we are trying to make guesses about the population, then we are dealing with inferential statistics.